Okay, so I'm gonna give you one triangle, and on this one triangle, you're gonna to have to do three different problems. So I would probably draw the triangle three different times. Okay, now you need to think of this as a practice work sample. Okay, so if I was doing circumcenter, okay, if I was doing circumcenter, what is a circumcenter? It's made up of what? Perpendicular bisectors. So that's perpendicular bisectors. And then how do I check my answer? What do you know about perpendicular bisectors? So if I had this triangle here, and I did perpendicular bisectors, and I'm just going to sketch them. So bisect cuts it in half. Perpendicular bisect cuts it in half. Bisects cuts it in half perpendicular. If that is my circumcenter right there, what do I know about circumcenters? How do I check it? How do I check it? Distance from the vertices. So I know that this distance has to be the same as that distance has to be the same as that distance. Okay. Now, if I was you, you know, when you take the two equations and you set them equal to each other, if you want to get a good score on a work sample, you'd have to check that as well, which means if you did it once with two equations, you should do it again with another set of equations. Okay. All right. And then we have centroid. And what was centroid made up of? How did we find centroid? What's the... What did we use? A median. What's a median? Vertex to opposite midpoint. So if this is a midpoint, it'd be from vertex to midpoint. If this was a midpoint, vertex to midpoint, vertex to midpoint. Okay, That's the, that is the centroid. And what do we know about centroid? How do we check? Still distance, but only it's different distances. What do we know about distances? What do we know, Wyatt? Uh, shorter distance from like the midpoint uh, centroid is double the... Uh, yep. So this distance is half of that distance. This distance is half of that distance. This distance is half of that distance. This is twice this, which it means that this is half of that. Okay. And then last but not least, we have orthocenter, which we just did. Orthocenter is where altitudes cross. Okay. And so the part, hard part about orthocenters is that it's tough to really check your work other than just redo the problem again, right? So I hate that, but... If you choose to do the altitude, then, or if you get the altitude, then you just have to go back and redo your work all over again to check your work, to verify your work, right, for verification. Okay, so knowing that, here is your one problem. Let's say A is, let's go, a negative 14, a negative 10, who knows what this is going to be like, just so you know. B is, let's go, 8, 8. And C, let's go, 12. Oh, negative. Let's just go 12, 0. I don't know what that looks like. But when you graph it, if it doesn't look like a very good triangle, let me know and we'll change, we'll tweak that a little bit. I can make that like a negative two or something. So, okay, you are doing all three and checking your work, doing distance formulas. Remember on centroid, how many distance formulas? Here you only have to do three, right? You have to do the distance from here to here, here to here, here to here. How many distance formulas do you have to do on a centroid? Six. Six. Okay, keep that in mind. Okay, try to do these all on your own. 
You should not be working together because you're not going to be able to work together on your work sample, right? So if you need help, that's okay. I understand you're going to work, but try to do these as much as possible on your own. Okay? All right, go to it. <laughs>